Good afternoon, folks. The snow is a melting here out on the farm. Almost back to beach weather. So in honor of being almost back to beach weather, we're going to do something from when we used to go to the beach. Now, out in California, there's a few coastal towns that still are a pleasure to go to that haven't been turned into a, just an absolute cesspool. Uh, San Diego, California is one of those. I really enjoy going to San Diego. It's not a dirty town at all. It's got a rich military history. And uh, it's really a town in California that's on the coast that you can still go enjoy. So whenever we were in San Diego, just to the north and the west of San Diego over a little hill is a little town called Ocean Beach. And it's a neat little town. It's a little, uh, I don't want to say a tourist town, but it's a real beach community. And it's real nice. And we enjoyed going there. We stayed uh, there a couple times. And every time we go to San Diego, we make it a point to go over to Ocean Beach. Now, in Ocean Beach, I had some of the best fish tacos I've ever had in my life. And I would literally go to San Diego just to have those tacos again. They were that good. And we're going to make something very similar to those tacos because we love fish tacos. And the other thing that they would do is they would serve you a, a margarita in a little clear solo glass. Best margarita you ever had in your life. So even if you're not a fan of alcohol, you I'll show you how to make a virgin uh, version of that margarita it's just like a really good lemonade when you do that so but it pairs really well with those tacos so let's get in the kitchen and let's get this thing started because it's almost dinner time Now, the place that we would go to to get these tacos was right on the main drag, almost down to the beach. Uh, it's a place called Mike's Taco Club. Weird name, I know. But if you're even in remotely that area, you have got to go there. And I pray to God it's still open. But uh, it was right on the main drag there that goes all the way down to the beach where the little pier is and all that. Uh, there's lots of little shops along that beach where you can shop. Hodad's Burgers is also there in Ocean Beach, and that's another reason to go to Ocean Beach. Really good hamburgers. But we're going to focus on the tacos today. So the first thing that we need to get going that I like to do early, even the day before, is put the sauce together. So let's show you what's in that. Okay, in our sauce, we got three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, three quarters of a cup of sour cream, we got a half a can, and this is probably, let's see, 8-ounce can of chipotle sauce. You can also use chipotle in adobo, but you'd have to cut the uh, peppers up real good. A tablespoon of lemon or lime juice, and salt and pepper to taste. And then you stir all that up and put it in the fridge, and it makes a really amazing sauce for these fish tacos. Now we have a squirt bottle that we put it in, so that makes it a lot more convenient when you're serving it up. You can just squirt it out over what you want to serve it on, but you don't have to have one. So let's talk fish. I like buying tilapia for this because it's a real mild flavored fish and it comes in very convenient single filet packages in the freezer so you can take out just what you need and leave everything else in the freezer. So we're going to take each one of these fillets and we're going to cut it lengthwise till we make one piece that fits really nicely on a corn tortilla. Now I know there's people that don't like fish out there. My mother's one of them. She never cared for fish. But she absolutely loves these fish tacos and she eats them like they're the last thing on earth whenever I make them. So I'm not a big fishy fish fan something that takes crazy crazy fishy that's why i like the tilapia because it's a really mild fish i also like flounder i like sea perch 
I like halibut. I would use any one of those fish in this dish because it's very mild and it's not real fishy and even your kids would love it. Make sure you're using boneless fillets so you don't have any issues with bones and when you get those fillets out before you cook them, run your fingers across them real good. Make sure you don't feel any bones, bend them around, whatever. Make sure there's no bones in those fish. But uh, we're going to process these like I told you. And then we're going to come back and show you how to cook them. All right, we've sliced our fish fillets. You'll notice when you take the fillet out of the package that one side is thinner than the other side. What I normally do is I cut them so there's about an equal weight of meat on both pieces of that fillet that we cut. Now shrimp also works very good in this dish. Shrimp tacos, fantastic. I usually don't bread the shrimp though when I make these. I will uh, pan fry them in a skillet or saute them with a little bit of chili powder, garlic and butter, salt too and uh, makes a really good sauteed shrimp and make these tacos with shrimp. Fantastic. Um, in a pinch, if you don't want to, you know, grill your fish or fry your fish like we're going to do, you could get the pre-fried fish in the freezer section if you just absolutely have to. I don't recommend it, but in a pinch, it's still a decent fish taco as long as you buy good fish, good fillets. Uh, if for some reason your family just will absolutely not eat fish, they hate it, I still recommend you have them try it because they'll love it. But if you can't get them to eat the fish, you could do the same thing by making like a chicken strip by your breast fillets and uh, fry these up like we're going to do these and it would still be a really good taco with the chicken. You ready for some fish tacos, Brandy? Yeah! So we have our breading station set up here. We have our fillets. We have a couple eggs that we've stirred up. We have our panko breadcrumbs. Now panko breadcrumbs is very important part of this dish. Anytime you're cooking fish or something that has the potential to overcook very quickly, you want to use something like panko breadcrumbs because they brown very quickly. If for some reason you cannot find panko breadcrumbs, get you some saltine crackers, or some Ritz crackers or hi ho crackers, whatever they're called in your area. Get a good handful of those, put them in a food processor and process them to where they look like uh, panko breadcrumbs or fine breadcrumbs. And you can use those and those will brown fairly quickly as well. Uh, another trick, if you notice when you bread things, you get kind of that clubbed hand because you got so much breading on your fingers and you end up breading your fingers instead of what you're trying to do. Good tip, uh, use one wet hand, so this hand handles the wet, and then a dry hand for the dry ingredients. So you use your wet hand, put it in here, throw it around, drop it in here, and then you use your dry hand to kind of cover it up like that. And then you can pick it up without getting the wet all over your hands, and you won't get so much buildup on your hands. All right, we got our fish a beautiful golden brown color. And then as soon as that comes out of the pan, you want to salt that because that's when the salt will stick and not fall off. You also want to use a spatula in the pan because if you use tongs, fish gets really delicate once it's cooked and you, you'll probably break up your little fillets if you're using tongs. So I just flip them over against the side of the pan with the spatula and I take them out and drain them with the spatula. So let's cook one of our tortillas. We're going to heat this up on about medium heat. We put a little bit of oil on the pan just with our little spritzer with olive oil. And we're going to fry our little tortilla. We're not going to make it crunchy crisp. We're going to stop just short of that. And then we'll put them all in our little tortilla holder here. Alright, we're frying up our tor tortilla. Move it around in the pan. Get that thing moistened up a little bit. And then flip it over. You want it just before it starts turning golden brown. You can see it's just barely brown around the edges. And that's about where we want it, right there. So we'll cook the rest of these in a minute after I show you what we're going to do with that. Alright, let's put our fish taco together. We're going to get some of our sauce. 
Put some sauce on that taco. Good stuff. Can't get too much. Then we're going to put our nice little fish fillet right there. And then we're going to get some Napa cabbage. Some shredded Napa cabbage because I really like that crunch that it gives. Don't substitute regular cabbage. If you can't get Napa cabbage, uh, go for like some um, romaine hearts or something like that for the crunch. And then I like a little bit more sauce on top of that. And then we're going to top that with two slices of avocado. That, my friends, is the best fish taco you're ever going to have. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to make us a margarita. The easiest way to slice your avocado is to slice them around the circumference, around the equator. Uh, take the pit out, just spin it. And then I slice them long ways and then use a spoon just to go along the outside of the skin. And those perfect little slices come right out. For your good margarita, these are the like 18 ounce clear solo glasses. You can use any one you want. I just love the clear because it brings back the memory quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and then I use my one cup measuring cup seven ounces of I use Jose Cuervo margarita mix I don't like their tequila but I love their mix and then one ounce of really good tequila top shelf like Patron or something like that pour that right over that put you a little lime wedge in there and look at that. You've got yourself the best fish taco ever and a nice margarita to go with it. Mmm. Wow. That takes me right back to Ocean Beach. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Best accompaniment you can have. Again, you can make a virgin uh, version of that. Use the same amount of mix and put in one to two ounces of water just to cut the mix a little bit like the, uh, the, tequila, the tequila does. And I still recommend the salt because it uh, balances the sweet tart in the mix very well. So if you want to take a virtual trip to the beach, uh, we live in the Midwest, so this brings back those beach memories. They're fantastic, and I can't wait to eat the rest of that taco and a few more. So you definitely need to try this recipe. Again, make it your own. Do it however you want to do it, but my way is pretty darn good. So we love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. You going to say bye, Brandy? Bye! <laughs> Pretty good dog most of the time. Love you guys. See you next time.